Yeah, morning everybody. So today we are going to uh, start uh, lecture five, which is on eighty eighty six addressing modes uh, and how to write uh, op code. That is uh, how to write the machine language from the uh, assembly code. So these two aspects, and uh, we are going to uh, cover in today's class. Right. There are various types of instructions. Okay. Uh, out of which this first one is data transfer instruction. Data transfer means uh, transferring a data from one register to other register or from the register to memory or between register and the um, input outputs or from the memory to input outputs okay so these are the various kinds of data transfer instructions which we are going to uh, learn today right when i say registers it is the all the registers which are there within 8086 okay so register means all the registers which are there when i say memory it is the external memory which is uh, assessed through the address lines okay so there is one one mb of uh, address line uh, address various addresses which we can uh, access through uh, 8086 that we have learned mm, over and above that uh, we can also have 64 uh, kb of input output devices also uh, over and above the mem one mb memory so we need to transfer the data between all these you know, uh, memory uh, input output devices and the registers right so uh, how we are going to do that so those instructions we are going to uh, learn today uh, and also uh, once we learn about those instructions uh, how to um, write a machine code la machine code or write the um, machine language code for those instructions that also we are going to learn today okay these will these uh, arithmetic instructions law there will be some arithmetic instructions also um, for computation there will be some logical instructions arithmetic instructions could be like an add division multiplication logical instructions could be like and or an, uh, compare those kind of instructions and then branch and program control instructions will be like a you know, jump loop and things like that so today we are only uh, going to concentrate on data transfer instructions okay uh, so uh, the the general format of an instruction would be uh, an op code and an operand you know? mm, op code uh, or an operational field the type of operation which is uh, to be performed by the processor that will be specified uh, so for uh, data movement the op code will be move you know for an arithmetic operations it could be uh, a lot of uh, uh, other um, commands like add subtract division and all so this 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 the op code means the type of operation which requires to be uh, performed by the uh, microprocessor operand is the data on which the operation is going to be performed so this operand uh, could be one register one memory so uh, it could be only one operand for certain uh, instructions and it could be uh, two uh, for me for if you, for example if it is going to be move there has to be two operands right you have to move from where to where right uh, or it could be uh, like when you write and it could be uh, no, uh, it has to be two but for certain instructions we will see it will be you know, implied so there will be requirement of specifying only one like for uh, example uh, in the lab we did multiplication um, in, in which uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, factors which are going to get multiplied is uh, A so that we know so it is implied so, uh, uh, so in that case there will be only one uh, uh, operand in other cases there will be uh, two so these are the various uh, addressing modes okay so the addressing modes could be uh, of various types okay uh, these are the uh, move commands okay these are all the uh, data transfer uh, addressing modes there could be uh, various uh, types okay in which each one of them we are going to i am not going to discuss each here in this slide but uh, each one of them we are going to see uh, today uh, today and scaled indexing uh, index register uh, addressing is only applicable for 80386 which is uh, through core2 which is a higher version of 8086 so the rest of the all those things uh, including scaled we are going to see today how we are going to do it. so i am just listing out everything out here and then we will take each one of them separately okay so uh, the data transfer one of the uh, first instruction which we are going to learn is move instruction okay uh, there are uh, others also push pop and all which will transfer the data so today we will see only move instruction okay so uh, the syntax for that will be move destination and source 
right destination is uh, the data where uh, the data has to finally uh, be stored okay uh, that is going to be the destination and data from where the data requires to be uh, moved will be the source so this is will be the syntax okay okay so the destination and source and then copies of the content of the source to the destination it copies the contents of the source to the destination no flags are affected okay this is important so when we write a program we have to be always be careful that you know, the flags are not affected okay uh, so uh, suppose you are uh, writing a uh, program where you are uh, uh, moving some contents of an register you know, uh, and, and then you are uh, adding that so so say some data uh, is there in the uh, in a memory location starting 8000 and you are uh, keep uh, you are keep uh, uh, moving the data from there and you are keep uh, you are uh, adding those data you know, whatever is there you finally want to make a uh, sum of all the numbers which are st uh, stored uh, in the memory starting 8000 uh, but then you cannot uh, make a decision that okay when the number ends the memory will be 000, zero, zero so you stop uh, 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 so you can't uh, uh, make a decision okay you stop the counting when there is no more memory data okay uh, uh, because uh, once you move the data the the flags will not be affected so in that case you will have to uh, specifically uh, the flags will so either you have to initiate a counter okay so you can't just make a decision by moving the data into the accumulator and seeing that if there is a zero or, or uh, 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 so the, uh, essentially the flags will not get affected by move decision so you can't uh, uh, use those flags uh, uh, for any decision making after the uh, move command okay so no flags are affected uh, size of the uh, uh, size of the source and the destination must be same you you cannot move a data 16 bit data into an 8 uh, 8 bit uh, register or a mem uh, 8 bit register that is known right so you cannot do that so the size of the source and the destination must be the uh, same okay so different uh, uh, move operations it could be uh, from a memory location uh, it can move to the register okay so memory like i said it's it's a external memory which we are going to uh, cover and register is the internal registers of the uh, 8086 like you can move a data from register to register also uh, you can move an uh, data from input output to memory or from input output to the uh, register so these are the different kind of uh, move operations which uh, we can uh, do right now coming to the uh, addressing modes the uh, like i had listed out few of the addressing modes in the uh, two three slides before now we are going to take up the first one which is register addressing okay in the register the syntax uh, this is an example move a x uh, excuse me sir uh, a yeah. small doubt yeah tell me in the previous slide uh, you said you said the different uh, methods of moving data so yeah. we can move from memory to register or register to memory or even register and register yeah uh, why can't we move anything from memory to memory? Is there any reason for that? Uh, yeah, there is a uh, uh, reason for that. Uh, when we see the hardware uh, implementation, when we uh, uh, do an, uh, 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 it's the same address bus. Okay, so uh, once you place one uh, uh, address bus right and uh, we uh, we will be latching on to that address bus and then subsequently release the data line for transfer of the data from the memory onto the uh, data bus okay uh, but if we want to do from memory to memory okay uh, uh, then uh, now how do we select the address bus right we have to uh, two address bus simultaneously uh, two memories we require two sets of address bus is it understood uh, so, in case we need to uh, shift data from one memory location to another, we have to use a register in that case, sir. Yeah, we will have to use an intermediate register, right? If say, if, yes, if there is an, an, a bulk of uh, memory registers uh, from one memory to other uh, for in 8086, then we will have to 
uh, uh, we'll have to uh, because those uh, address lines there is only one set of address lines at any given time uh, you can only place an uh, uh, address one uh, address of one memory location so it won't be uh, possible right so that is there but in uh, advanced uh, uh, processors and uh, core uh, uh, where what we have today where the processor uh, uh, leaves the uh, it relieves uh, processor is relieved of the uh, data uh, bus okay so there is an uh, uh, the there is a link made between two memory locations and then the mem the data transfer takes place without the cpu coming into the picture so that is possible only in the advanced uh, processors not in 8086 right when we transfer a data from your uh, say from your uh, hard hard drive to your uh, you know, uh, pen drive or something then the processor doesn't come into a picture in in in, in the modern in our laptops or in our desktops so uh, that will uh, relieve the uh, microprocessors and uh, uh, from the uh, it will isolate the microprocessor and the data bus and the address line so those transfers bulk transfers uh, is possible in those Whereas in 8086, it's not possible. Okay. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, register addressing is move AX BX, wherein the contents of AX and BX are moving. So, that is why it is known as register addressing. Uh, there is something known as immediate addressing. Okay. Uh, in immediate addressing, what is done is move AX and the value is given here. Okay, uh, the value is given. So, 1420H, that is a 16-bit uh, hexadecimal number. So, that number, that whatever we have written, that will be fed directly to uh, AX. So, this is known as immediate addressing. Okay, because uh, we are not referring to any register or this, the, the, the source is specified. The data of the source itself is directly specified. So, that is known as uh, uh, immediate addressing. Right. Then there is something known as uh, uh, direct addressing. Okay, uh, direct addressing is it is a square uh, bracket is put. Okay, it doesn't mean that uh, two three four zero will be returned into AX. It's, it's whenever we write a score uh, square bracket, it means the address corresponding to the number which is there inside the square bracket. Okay, uh, so the memory location. Right, so two three four zero. Uh, uh, H, okay. So, <clears throat> so whatever is the uh, data which is available in memory location two three four zero, so that will be brought into uh, A six. Okay, that will be moved into uh, A X. Sorry, right. So uh, we got to remember that whenever we do a move instruction, the the data available in the uh, source file that doesn't get corrupted. It it will still remain there. Only the destination file will get. Updated. Okay. Can anybody say uh, 2340 is only a uh, 16-bit address, right? So, uh, how will be the physical address be generated? We already uh, did that in the previous class. Anybody? Uh, it is, uh, yeah, multiply by 10 and the uh, add offset. Yeah, 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 Prakash got it right. No, it is the data segment, whatever uh, uh, data is there in the data segment register into 10 plus 2340, right? Hexadecimal number. So, that will generate the physical address. So, this is all uh, uh, we are talking about the uh, move whenever we write the move instructions, it will uh, uh, do the data segment, it will take the data segment, multiply it by 10, and then add this number, okay. So, uh, now register indexed uh, register. Uh, this is uh, if you see uh, what it is going to do is it is again going to move the uh, contents of a memory whose address will be uh, given by BX. Okay, The offset will be given by the contents of the BX. It is not the data of BX which is going to come into AX. Okay, It is again data segment and uh, into uh, 10 plus the uh, content which is written in BX, which is there in BX. Okay, so this is known as uh, register indirect uh, addressing. Okay, uh, is it understood till here? Okay, these things are very important, uh, especially for your exam point of view also. Okay, anyway, uh, I have designed a uh, tutorial on this. So yeah, uh, what is it? Um, 
move x two three four zero means we want a value of two three four zero in uh, hexadecimal ax register. Yeah, that's true. Uh, move ax within square bracket two three four zero means that we find the value at the memory location uh, into ax register. Yeah, yeah, correct. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, sir, uh, can you repeat what uh, we are moving into AX here? Okay. Uh, see, let me go back to one slide. Okay. Let Let's clear the doubts. Move AX BX means whatever is the contents of BX is going to come to AX. Okay. Move AX one two four zero H means AX the value in the AX four after the move instruction will be one four two zero. Okay. Uh, uh, here. Uh, move ax 2340h means whatever is the contents in the memory location 2340 this is when i write a square bracket it is an address location not the actual content this is when I, the so whatever is the contents in memory location 2340 will be moved to ax right uh, here move ax within square bracket bx means whatever is the contents in the memory location uh, which is given by bx okay in bx if i have say uh, 1350 so the mem in memory location whatever is there in 1350 that will be moved to ax okay uh, is it okay with everybody is this clear okay so let us uh, move forward uh, base plus index register okay now it says move ax bx plus si right so this means that now whatever is in the memory location uh, uh, in uh, the offset for the memory location is given by bx plus si okay so you have uh, 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 ds into 10 plus bx plus si okay so that will be the memory location now okay there is a doubt uh, sir uh, what if we try to uh, use a memory location which uh, does not have any value so by default uh, memory locations will be zero so zero will get uh, 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 transferred uh, yeah most mostly uh, the memory locations because this uh, uh, memory locations are going to be uh, ram so once you switch on the power supply uh, all of them will be uh, uh, zero okay so uh, you understood uh, this so here the offset is bx plus si in this case it is known as base plus index register okay register related to uh, 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 addressing in which you are uh, writing move ax bx plus 40 that means uh, uh, it will be computed as uh, the address will be computed as ds into 10 plus bx plus 40 okay so this is known as register relative uh, indexing uh, addressing okay now uh, somebody had a question uh, last so could you, re you repeat yeah. that uh, relative addressing okay this is you just, just uh, specifying uh, 40 out here right right uh, so th that is another 16 bits you are uh, so uh, it is the way it is computed the memory is uh, computed will be ds into 10 Okay, uh, plus BX, whatever is the contents of the BX, plus 40. Uh, so, here BS is the uh, segment. Uh, DS is the segment, right? Uh, data okay, segment, DS, yes. Uh, data segment into 10. So, the physical address and the calculation will be done like that. DS into 10, okay, plus yes. uh, whatever is the contents of BX, plus 40, plus an offset. Here. And, and in the base plus index, SI will be the offset. Yeah, this this together will be the offset. Whatever is the, this and this together will be the offset. Yes, sir. Okay, here also this and this together they will uh, form the offset, right? In all these cases, DS will be the uh, uh, main indexing. Uh, what do you call the terminology? Okay, uh, this is the offset that will be the uh, first indicator. The first memory location will be indicated by the DS. Is it okay? yes sir yeah uh, uh, yeah vijay uh, sir uh, will it uh, uh, load overflow segment and uh, could you just uh, switch on your mic uh, i am just having difficulty in reading it 
So, uh, I was asking that uh, suppose we try to access uh, a location memory address that does not exist. Like if I offset it too much, way past what uh, ha is there in my physical memory, then what kind of an error will the uh, processor throw at us? Mm -hmm. There could be some junk, um, right? It will, it will place some uh, memory location, uh, memory uh, on the address line, right? And and when if there is no memory there at all, right? Address line will get placed, but there will be no uh, data coming onto the data bus, so it will pick up some junk from there. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, some some garbage value, yeah. Uh, so okay. Uh, so somebody had a uh, doubt. Uh, Vijay, I think you you had this doubt last time. Uh, uh, it's, we said ki, okay, there is a code segment, uh, and, uh, and then uh, along with each of them, we had one an uh, offset which was 16 bits. So it was coming only for uh, 64 uh, uh, kilobytes, right? So but then we said ki, practically we can have a total of one mega, right? Memory space. So now uh, uh, what about the remaining memory? Okay, now if you see the data segment, right, uh, if you see these instructions, it is not that key, uh, only 16 bit, you can go beyond that also by using SI, right, can you see this, right, so if, if you see uh, by doing these kind of operations, okay, you can have this data segment and uh, stretched towards the code segment and towards the and a stack segment also. It is not restricted to the offset. If the offset is restricted only to one register or so, then it will be only uh, 64K. But you can uh, put data okay, uh, by using uh, these kind of commands also. So this data segment can stretch beyond uh, 64K. Uh, is this aspect clear to all of you? Right. The way we ca calculate the uh, physical address is right uh, by D ds into 10 uh, plus uh, uh, then uh, plus the offset. Right. So initially we said uh, offset we were having only uh, one register. So uh, 16. So 2 to the power of 16. Only 64. So it is not restricted to only uh, 16. Okay. So when we uh, learn about the uh, uh, memory operation uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll further elaborate on these things actually uh, the, you know, there is we can overlap this data on to the code also because we may not have an very very large code generally we will have large data and very uh, little bit of the code so we need not you know, allocate the entire memory 64k to the code and, and uh, get restricted on the data segment so it is very very possible that uh, we can give that uh, we can overlap these two things and we can just use a portion of the code segment and we can have data segment overlapping onto the code segment so this aspect as and when we see the memory uh, uh, class on memory the organization I'll, I'll explain you that further okay so uh, i just wanted to clarify this doubt which came from the previous class okay uh, now uh, there are there are others also a base uh, relative plus index registering so here you can do these kind of uh, operation move operations also where ba basically the offset calculation will be done based on whatever you give within the square okay now there is something this is not possible uh, scale this is known as the uh, scaled uh, index addressing which is not possible in 8086 but otherwise in uh, uh, 80386 it's possible okay these are the addressing modes okay uh, now uh, we will see uh, microprocessor contains these 8 bit registers name uh, ALH, BL, BH, CL, uh, CH, CL, DH and DL that we know. So they are all uh, 8 bit registers, uh, 16 bit all the uh, H and L will be replaced by AX. So they will together form an 16 bit so that we know this and 80386 and uh, above have 32 bit registers. So, uh, they are named as EAX, extended AX, extended BX and all. So, it is uh, beyond uh, uh, 16 bit. So, they are 32 bit registers. So, uh, this is 64 bit registers or uh, mode registers are RAX, RBX and all. So, we are not going to learn all. We are going to restrict ourselves to 8086 in this course. Okay. All right. 
So, these are some uh, things which you need to care, uh, take care when you are writing the codes. Okay. Uh, so, whenever there is an hexadecimal number uh, which we need to uh, write, so we have to prefix it with uh, uh, 0 when we write the assembly language. right? So, uh, F2 uh, okay, should not be written as simply F2 because it, you know, it might uh, take it as an uh, instruction code also, op code also, even if we see an alphabet. So, it should always start with a number. So, if it, there is an alphabet out here, so you need to place a uh, 0 before that okay, in the assembly language. Okay. Now, a few other things which we need to remember is source registers uh, contents do not change. Okay, it is only the destination registers contents uh, change. Okay, so whatever is the contents in the uh, source register that does not change except for some instructions like compare and test instructions where, uh, where the uh, source and the because you are just comparing only the flags will get um, uh, affected. If you are say uh, compare A and B. Okay, so it, it will do the compare and if, if uh, both are equal then on the uh, flag will be set to 0. So, 0 flag uh, the 0 flag will be set to uh, 0 if they are not equal it will be set to 1. So, uh, so there only the flags are getting affected we will see those and uh, how and uh, in detail later on those instructions but just uh, remember these things. Okay, uh, move BLCL does not affect the leftmost 8 bits of the register BX. Okay. Uh, that is B H will not be affected when we are going to <coughs> yeah uh, compare is uh, uh, so it does not get affect B H and C L okay uh, compare and test and uh, we'll see these instructions later on okay uh, compare means when we uh, if we write an instruction compare A and B it will just compare if A and B are equal or not and accordingly the uh, 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 sign flag and uh, whether it is greater or less than or if it is equal uh, the sign flag and the uh, zero flag gets affected similarly test also does some testing uh, i exactly don't remember now when we come to those instructions and uh, we'll see that it that also does uh, some specific functions right so those instructions we'll see later on okay uh, but the it, it is only uh, uh, comparing and testing uh, in the test we just have to remember that uh, the source and the uh, destination registers data does not get uh, corrupted. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, even the arithmetic operations uh, change the data stored in one of the source. Yeah. Even for arithmetic uh, operations, uh, the, the source, the data in the source also uh, does not get, even uh, in division also, the source does not get uh, changed. Only the destination will get changed. Okay. Everywhere source contents always remains the uh, no no uh, no so quotient will be in the destination and the remainder will be in the d register right uh, we did, we did that in the lab we will see the arithmetic uh, operations in the next class okay in detail each one of them okay now uh, now it is the, this is again uh, very uh, important uh, from your examination point of view also okay uh, so, uh, uh, you need to understand this uh, little bit and then it becomes pretty easy, right. So, this is how a uh, machine language code is tra is transformed into, uh, uh, no, the assembly language is transferred into the machine language. So, the machine language uh, uh, no, format is given here, okay. So, uh, in which what you have is, uh, I told the machine la language could be 1 byte, 2 byte, 3 byte, up to 6 bytes, okay, depending on what kind of uh, instruction, uh, some of the uh, uh, assembly language code could have only 2 bytes and some of them could have up to uh, 6 bytes. So, these are the uh, 6 by bytes of uh, machine language code. So, that is why if you see the instruction uh, code. Uh, there are uh, six registers you know, uh, which uh, in there uh, which can be used as a queue so uh, whenever we are fetching the instructions um, if you uh, remember what we learned in the bus interface unit there is one uh, uh, six register unit you know, which is used to store the next instruction byte right so it, it could be uh, six byte maximum that is why so this, here we'll see 
Now, what are these uh, six registers? So, in the in the first byte, it is then uh, the first one, two, three, four, five, six uh, 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 bits are op code. Okay. So, here you will have uh, information about what is the op code, whether it is move, whether it is add or whether it is multiply a division. So, corresponding to that, we will have to uh, write an uh, binary number here, right? Even for move, it is not universal that move is 100010 or something like that. Uh, for uh, within move itself and uh, for various addressing modes, okay, this code would change. Similarly, uh, in add also for various uh, uh, add, add immediate, add register to memory, so this code would change. So, where do I get this code? This is already uh, given by the uh, manufacturer. Okay. So, there is a uh, sheet uh, wherein all the op codes are given. So, we need to uh, refer to that. Okay. The compilers obviously that is for when we do it manually, we have to write. Otherwise, the compilers uh, they have this data and they, they will uh, compile it uh, of their own. Right. So, these, these machine codes, but for us to write a machine code we need to refer to that chart. So, that chart will be uh, given to you. Okay. Even for your exam also that chart will be given to you. So, you do not have to memorize what whether what this 100010 represents move or something like that. And, uh, you just have to know from where to pick up this uh, this data. So, this is the uh, op code. right? Okay. Uh, uh, D means uh, the uh, direction of uh, flow. Okay. So, when we come to the byte uh, 2, you will see uh, there is one register and there is one register stroke memory. Okay. Uh, here, uh, the code of the register will be written. Here, uh, the code of the second uh, register will be written. The second could be a register or it could be a uh, memory also. Now, this D uh, will say whether the data has to flow from the register to register stroke memory. If it is 0, uh, it is going to move from the left hand side to right hand side from the register to register stroke memory. If it is d is equal to 1, it will flow from register to memory to register. Okay. So, it is not uh, source, uh, this is not source and this is not uh, uh, destination by default in the machine language. Okay. It could, uh, this could be the source or this could be the source or you will have to specify the uh, direction. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, clear to all of you? Yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, for move, will d equal to 1? No, uh, that is what I am saying. Right? For, for move, it could be uh, 0 or it could be uh, 1. Okay? It could be either 0 or 1. You can write the source uh, like register to re register. Suppose I write an A and B here. I am writing A and B. If I am writing move uh, A B, right, uh, uh, and and D is equal to uh, uh, if I am writing uh, move A B, then I have I am putting A here and uh, B here, right. Then the data has to flow from from here to here. Then I have to give D equal to one. If I am writing, I am putting A here, B here, and I am writing uh, move B A then I need to give d equal to 0. Is it okay? Robert? Uh, Anybody so has got uh, any doubt on this? Is it uh, clear so or is, is there any confusion? Uh, R stroke m can directly be a, a value uh, given. Yes. Yes. We will see uh, that. So about the value d, uh, how do we define it while writing assembly code? Yeah, D uh, 0 means it is from the register to the register stroke memory, right? D equal to 1 means from register stroke memory to the register, to whatever we are going to specify here. Uh, so, but how does that uh, get uh, loaded into the processor? Do we have to program it manually or will the compiler do it for us? No, the compiler will do. Okay. Uh, but uh, right now we need to understand what is the value, uh, how to write a machine language. Otherwise, everything will be done by the compiler. Yes. Sir. Okay. Once we uh, when once we write the assembly language, and uh, uh, it will do. Okay. It will be very clear when we uh, take up some uh, example also. Okay. I, I I have got few examples. 
then we will see, uh, we will write an instruction and try to frame a uh, machine code. So, everything will be clear then. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. excuse me, sir. Yeah, sir, uh, when we just uh, mentioned that r slash m or uh, uh, m, so in one byte, how will we include the addresses of all of them, sir? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, we'll see that. I'll, I'll just uh, just give me another one one or two slides, so it will be okay. Uh, we, we, yes, sir. We are not the the register. Uh, 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 just one or two slides uh, ahead, uh, these doubts will be cleared. Okay. So, right now uh, we know what is an op code. Okay. A D means the uh, direction. Okay. Register to register stroke memory and register stroke to memory. W stands for W is equal to 0 means we are going to have an uh, byte and W is equal to 1 means we are going to have an uh, word transfer. Okay. So, W indicates whether it is an uh, word or an uh, byte okay so these this the first the in for first byte will have that instruction okay uh, byte 2 the first two bits of this byte 2 uh, is known as mod so we'll see there are four so four different combinations are available uh, 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 so for all those uh, four this mod uh, along with uh, uh, r stroke m whatever these three bits these five bits together uh, will define the uh, source okay uh, will will define the uh, source and uh, these three uh, bits will uh, define the uh, destination register okay we will see that right now we are just trying to understand okay uh, this is the uh, uh, displacement okay this is the lower byte displacement this is known as the higher byte uh, uh, displacement uh, this is known as the uh, uh, direct addressing lower byte and direct addressing uh, higher byte okay so these are the various uh, uh, bytes uh, uh, which are there in machine language 1 2 3 4 5 6 so uh, it will be very very clear in the next uh, 2 3 slides of, of you know, what uh, how these are written okay now, uh, this is the uh, op code I said. So, for how do we write the first op code? If you see for the move instructions, when we are moving uh, a register, okay, move from a register uh, 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 or a memory to or from a uh, register, okay. So, this is the uh, op code 1 triple 0 1 0, right? 1 triple 0. So, this will we will have to write here and then we will have to uh, specify D and we will have to uh, sp uh, specify uh, W also depending on uh, no, what it is right. So, this is just an uh, example I am showing it here. Now, uh, when we are doing an uh, immediate to register memory right that is if we are going to uh, do an uh, we are going to give a value right. So, in that case uh, uh, that value will come here right whatever value we are going to uh, move into the register okay uh, that will come here right and in the it's only three bits but and i'll tell you how how it's going to that that value will come actually uh, here okay uh, and and here we are going to write something which will indicate that the value should come from here okay so that is how it is going to be done now it will be clear in the next slide so um, here so essentially that register will come here right so, in that case, the data has to flow from here to here, right, in that case. So, that is why it is it is given as a 1, 1 here for immediate, right, because uh, what is the, uh, if you remember what is uh, immediate uh, uh, in a command, it is move uh, ax and then you give some data, right. So, this is going to be the register, whereas here you are going to uh, uh, indicate you know uh, whatever whatever is the uh, data which has to come okay so that data will be available in this these registers so now the data has to flow from the right towards the left so d has to be one in that case so d will be one out here right now this could be w or one because uh, you could be having a register here a l then you know, w is equal to zero means from the uh, low displacement the data would uh, come uh, into this register uh, whereas if it is an a here in the in, in this if you are writing ax then from from 
uh, that means it is uh, going to be a uh, 16 bit data. So, both these registers, so data will come from both these registers into. So, in, in both the cases, the direction of flow will be from the right to left. So, d is equal to 1. So, uh, this is the uh, opcode. So, depending on the instruction, you will have to pick up the uh, correct opcode. Similarly, for uh, add okay, uh, data memory, so this is the uh, opcode which is there. So, this is the opcode for uh, subtraction. So, this is how we pick up the uh, opcode from the uh, 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 PDF or now it will be given to you in the exam also. So, uh, we will have to pick up those otherwise this is these opcodes are uh, fixed ok they are uh, fixed by the manufacturer. So, we will uh, so these have to be referred that the documentation is to be referred to pick up the opcode ok. So, uh, now uh, uh, yeah. written here 10010 zero, zero, zero. so that is moving from register to register yeah and below that you written 11001 zero, zero, one. Uh, is that uh, uh, immediate to register yeah that is immediate to register yes uh, so what exactly does that do see the, the op code is the d6 is the op code for register to register yes okay. sir. Uh, this uh, first six uh, digits is an opcode for immediate to register. Okay. Uh, immediate as in the value which is calculated. No, that is the opcode. No, 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 it is not the value. That value will come here. Then it is the opcode. The word immediate, exactly. Uh, uh, immediate is, uh, let me go back, this command. Yeah, here immediate addressing is where we want we are specifying this data we are going to specify this data this needs to in ax 1420 needs to be loaded oh yes sir got it, got it. okay so that is uh, immediate once we uh, take up an example uh, i know you, you are all getting a little bit uh, confused uh, once we uh, take up one example everything will be crystal clear okay so, so now in the uh, 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 register field, okay, that is this register field. We are talking about this register field, okay. So whenever we write, a, uh, these are the uh, codes for the uh, when W is equal to zero, or zero 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 in the register field will mean AX. When W is equal to one, zero 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 in the register field will mean AX, right? So, these are the all possible you know, various combinations of uh, register values and for W is equal to 0, these are the registers and for W is equal to 1, these are the registers. So, now if you see in the opcode in here, okay, so this is here we are going to specify what is the uh, register, okay. So, these are the registers, okay, we can uh, specify it by these numbers. Now, this could be source or this could be de de na, a destination also when I am moving register to register. So, accordingly whether it is a source or a destination that will be uh, decided by the D, okay, that will be decided by D, the direction, okay. So, this is the register. So, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, uh, immediate addressing this has to be uh, destination because that is number which we are going to write and that is the reason d was uh, given here as 1 because 1 means it, it, it moves towards. So, uh, so this is where register you uh, so ok is it clear this aspect ok these are the various uh, this table you need to uh, refer you do not have to memorize these also these also will be uh, given to you. So, ok. Now, uh, after that we come to the next one it, it has got an, uh, one an, a mod uh, we say mod has got two bits right this has got three bits and this has got uh, two bits we will see what this has also again got three bits uh, uh, it is three it should be three ok. So, now when we say when I write a mod is equal to 0 0 uh, it means memory mode with no displacement uh, uh, except 16 bit displacement when rm is equal to 110 ok uh, we will see this ok uh, 0 0 essentially means memory mode with no displacement 0 1 means memory mode with uh, 8 displacement 10 means memory mode with 16 bit displacement 
one one means register mode okay so this will define zero zero will uh, define what kind of move operation we are going to do so the mod will decide that okay so the data in the mod will uh, decide that okay what kind of uh, uh, operation we are uh, doing it okay this displacement is what we write right uh, plus at plus bx plus at right we have uh, seen that move in sections this is if you have to write an a plus 1 2 3 4 if you have to give a 16 bit displacement we will write like this okay so uh, th that we will see in the uh, okay so this if you see uh, mod now it is, it is mod uh, register stroke memory okay uh, now uh, if if it is for 0 0 mod right in the register stroke memory if i write 0 0 0 it will be bx plus si right bx plus si now let me go back to the just understand this first cell then everything else will be uh, clear okay now for mod 00, zero right if i write in r stroke m 0 0 0 then it, it indicates bx plus si so if i have an uh, instruction like move ax okay uh, move ax within uh, square bracket bx plus si right so now if i go back here now op code i will write for move direction here uh, uh, here in the register it is move ax right so now i will have to uh, refer this the uh, register there is a register table uh, where is that register table on uh, uh, here so uh, ax right it is a, so ax is 0 0 0 so i will have to write here uh, 0 0 0 0 which is corresponding to ax for w is equal to 1 right and then here if i have to write bx plus si here okay move the command is bx plus si then you will have to uh, this you will have to write in r stroke f 0 0 0 so because it is bx plus si right so this is how uh, for various uh, move instructions and uh, this, this table will be referred to and we will formulate the machine language okay uh, is it okay with all of you uh, so, so in case in exam we are asked to convert uh, assembly language to machine code, will we be given this table? Yeah, yeah. This table will be given. Even one PDF will be given to you, right? Yes. Okay, that will that will be given here, right? So, uh, for uh, for one one, it is from uh, it is just register to register operation. Okay. Now, uh, the best way to understand these thing is through uh, examples. So, uh, I have just uh, put four examples for each of the mode, uh, which will clear uh, all your doubts. Okay. Now, the first uh, uh, instruction is move uh, BL AL. Okay. So, now you got to go and uh, refer, okay, what is the uh, code for uh, move for register to register. So, right. So, we go back to that PDF. Okay, so th this is the uh, extraction uh, snapshot I have taken from the PDF itself. So, move register to register, okay, register to or from register, it is 100010, okay. So, this is the instruction which I pick up from there. So, now I come back here, right, to my example. So, 100010, so this op code I write, right. Now, uh, direction, okay, now uh, direction. Uh, in this case it is register to register so i can give direction 0 or 1 so accordingly i will fill uh, an, uh, if i write direction 0 it is going to fill from it is going to move data from uh, register to rm right it is going to move uh, from left to right then rm should be what bl or al can somebody say if d is equal to 0 can somebody uh, switch on yeah bl bl so you are saying if uh, d is equal to 0 right uh, rm should be bl right if d is equal to 1 it will be the other way around so you got a flexibility here okay you can do uh, whatever we want these things okay now uh, w now since it is al and bl we write w is equal to uh, 0 because it's we are only uh, uh, it's a uh, byte it's not a word so w is equal to 0 okay and then mod now what should be the mod so we go back here 
right 1 1 mod 1 1 means register to register ok it 1 1 if you see the mod table 1 1 register mode no displacement so that is why we are going to write mod as 1 1 and then register now here we have, since we have put 0 here we have to put uh, register uh, uh, al uh, corresponding to al so we go to uh, refer that uh, table on uh, register where is that register table here w is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 is a l and b l is uh, 0, 1, 1, right. So, we need to uh, put the, uh, uh, 0, 1, 1 here and corresponding to uh, a 0, 0, 0 here. So, this opcode it, it is oh, oh, 2 byte, right, it is just 2 bytes, we do not require extra bytes. So, the till w it is going to be in a 1 byte from here it is going to be the second byte. So, this is what it is and this is how it is written in hexadecimal. Uh, is this example clear to all of you? Anybody has got any doubts? Uh, it is very simple, you just have to, uh, once you understand these things, it will become very easy. Uh, so, so, when we compile the assembly code, we get we get machine code which is basically uh, uh, zeros and ones. Yeah, zeros uh, and ones, because this is the one which we in the code segment register, uh, this is how uh, it will get an, uh, written there. And then, uh, and, and then in the in the microprocessor, is that pass through logic gates to do the required operation? Yeah, it, it will fetch these data into the instruction queue and it will decode it and it will understand. Okay, the microprocessor will be able to understand once this opcode, this machine language code is given to the uh, microprocessor. Okay, the electronic unit will uh, decode this and will uh, realize, okay, this is the command which is given to me, so I have to move this data or I have to do the uh, uh, no, uh, arithmetic operations. So, that will be uh, understood by these uh, machine language codes. Yeah, yeah uh, Abhinav had a question, sir, why is RM uh, BL, right? Uh, this is BL because uh, uh, direction is uh, 0, 0 means from register to RM. So, here we have to uh, fill uh, BL. Uh, which is the destination. If I write uh, d is equal to 1, okay, it will be from rm to register, then it will be 0, 1, 1 here and 0, 0 here. Is it clear, Abhinav? Yeah, okay. Is it clear to all of you? It is pretty uh, simple, right? If you have any doubts, then just then ask me, okay. Okay. So, uh, let us go to the uh, next mode. Uh, 0 0 memory operand with uh, no displacement ok. So, uh, now uh, I am specifying b x and uh, c l right ok. Uh, so, now what we have to move the data uh, corresponding to c l into an memory location uh, whose uh, data is available in b x. Okay. So, there is no displacement because I am not writing b x plus something or okay. it is just uh, b x. right? So, now uh, if you see, now uh, where should b x be there? Uh, can it be there here? No, it has to be here because here you can have only pure uh, register. Here it is register uh, stroke uh, m. So, obviously, in this register I should have c l and here I can have uh, b x. Okay. So, here it is uh, I can have b x uh, and here I have to have c l. So, uh, direction will be uh, from, uh, uh, can somebody say now what should be d, it should be 0 or 1. Anybody? Zero. No, it cannot be 0, right? It has to be 1 because uh, I have to put uh, uh, CL here because I cannot put BX here because here I cannot specify a memory. I can only put a register here. Here I can put a memory. Okay, So, this is actually memory when within a square bracket, it means it is a memory. So, D has to be 1 here Okay, in this case. Okay. Now, uh, how do I? Sir, do? sir, I have a doubt. Sir, if you are going from, we are going from CL to BX, right? So, that means you are going from register to R slash M. Correct. In that case, if you are going from left to right, so D has to be 0, no? 
yeah yeah so yeah uh, correct it, it has to be zero it has to be from uh, here to here so you can't have uh, no, a one okay yeah you have to be one okay M my mistake okay now w is to be a zero because we are dealing with a byte d has to be zero because we are going to move register to rm therefore the uh, first byte this is the uh, uh, opcode okay uh, opcode again you got to refer okay don't take it for granted it is 10010 you just refer the, that thing it is whether let me go back uh, refer it once more okay move uh, register memory to from register so this is again the same one 10010 okay register stroke memory it's given so it's the same uh, move uh, opcode so uh, i come to the uh, uh, same this one uh, and then uh, we use mod now what is the mod which we need to use because if you see uh, uh, mod let's go back to the mod operation mod 00 because there's no displacement so mod 00 right mod is going to be uh, 00 and what are we going to use we are going to use bx right we are going to use the address bx so it is going to be 111 uh, here r stroke m is going to, since it is bx it is going to be 111 is this thing uh, visible to you all clearly 111 bx mod 00 so what we are going to do is here right so uh, here it is going it has to be mod has to be 00 and this will become 111 right and and these are not used because there is no uh, displacement so the final code will be is this uh, uh, code clear to you all of you yeah okay so let me uh, move forward right so this is where so uh, no, not in the next week's tutorials in, in the next to next week's tutorials uh, i'll uh, frame some seven or eight uh, questions uh, for for each mode i will try to frame two questions so that uh, you will have some more uh, practice about it meanwhile you can just search the net and uh, there and, and you can go through your textbook also there will be some solved examples okay uh, will it uh, okay uh, what is it what will be converted in the uh, upcoming net tutorial then uh, it will be physical address calculations and few other things are there in the upcoming tutorial okay so uh, the, so this is the final result which you need to uh, write okay uh, now uh, we are going to take uh, one zero where memory operand with 16 bits displacement okay now 16 bits displacement so here i am writing move bp si plus 500h and uh, 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 7 2 9 3 ok so in this memory location we have to uh, feed this data ok so we need to uh, sir can we have uh, uh, no you, you can't uh, have this uh, CL and AL uh, the, the base index has to be an, uh, B Right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so this is what uh, this is we are going to in this memory location, uh, we are going to uh, feed this op data. Now it is move. Okay. Uh, this. So, so the move uh, op code is written here. Right. W is is equal to uh, one because it is a word now. We are uh, handling an uh, sixteen bit mod is one zero because we are uh, talking about sixteen bit uh, uh, displacement okay uh, this is the uh, mod now uh, op code now uh, if you see uh, op code now we have to uh, go, this 7293 okay that is the immediate data so higher bit data is written here 72 and 93 is written here right and and this displacement is for the uh, uh, this is the displacement for the 500 h right so you write uh, uh, 0, 05 here and 00, 00 here okay that is uh, little indian we have uh, uh, see 8086 follows uh, this pattern where the higher uh, higher bit is uh, the uh, higher bit is written in the uh, next memory location on to the right hand side okay so that is how 0, 05 comes here 00, 00 comes here okay so this is if you go to the mod 10 
if you go to that uh, chart mod uh, 1 0 right. So, now what uh, we are interested is B x plus S i plus D 16 that is 16 bit displacement. So, R m has to be 0 0 0. So, from this chart you come to know that okay. first of all displacement it is 16. So, we have to see uh, this particular column then we have to see what, what is that what is the possible combinations. So, the possible combinations available is B x plus S i plus D 16 ok that is what is given in the code right. So, that means R m becomes 0 0 0. So, that is why when I come here right here. So, R m has become on a, uh, this is the 16 bit uh, code output right. Uh, it is written is uh, 0 1 0. Uh, no, okay. Uh, R is R is zero zero zero. Uh, R stands for. Okay, let me see. There is a con. Uh, op code is one zero zero zero. Word is one. Mod is one uh, zero. Okay, because it is sixteen bit. Let me go to the mod table. Mod table is an uh, uh, one zero. And uh, what we are going to uh, move is. Uh, movies in a uh, uh, SI uh, plus move move into uh, BP SI plus 500 H. Okay, uh, BP SI plus this okay 0 1 0. So, this is the uh, RM value 0 1 0 from this table right. So, now I have to uh, come here. I have to refer that table and, and put 0 1 0 here right. And now after 0 1 0 then the next 2 bits is the displacement ok. What is the displacement? Displacement is 500 right uh, 500 it is 0 5 0 0. So, that 0 5 which is the 2 uh, MSB will come here higher byte this is the lower byte. So, lower byte is 0 0. So, I put 0 0 and then after that what is the data which needs to uh, come right that is 7293. So, higher byte is 72 and this is 93. Is this clear to you? I can explain you once more if it is not clear. Is it clear to all of you? Okay. So, uh, the last example which we are going to take is uh, uh, 0 1. Okay. Uh, in, in, in 0 1 you have move B x plus uh, 10 h and then uh, C l. So, I have uh, written this code for that. I uh, will upload this uh, PDF for you. So, just try to uh, verify yourself ok. Now, since the time is also up. So, I am going to upload this PDF today itself. So, just try to uh, verify whatever is the final what is written here is it correct or not. If any if there is any doubt then all that you need to uh, 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 see, uh, see the at uh, various tables which is there in this PDF itself and try to formulate this code. Okay. Uh, is it okay? So, we will call it off uh, for today. Thanks a lot.